Here's tip number one. I'm going to share with you how I transfer and keep track of all those photos you get from your camera and your cell phone and your iPad. How I organize my digital images. You can always use a cable to download images from your camera or from your phone or device directly to your hard drive. When I'm transferring pictures from my cell phone, I always use email. So if I have a picture and I look at my cell phone and I think, wow, that would make a great art quilt or potential art quilt, I go ahead and include it in an email with a title that lets me know what I'm sending, like for example, trip to the Botanic Gardens tea house. And then I can file these emails in my uh, Gmail account. When I do this, it's really easy for me to go back to the beginning should I lose or somehow wreck the photograph. Titles help you find the picture and having a single picture in the body of an email makes it easy to find when you're looking for something. You can use that cable to download your images from your camera or from your phone directly onto your computer's hard drive. From your email or directly from your device, download your images into a separate folder on your computer. Create subfolders for different categories of images. Have a file ready to dump images into. Create new files in general categories and use subfiles to establish a series or a focus on a theme. So my case, I have art images and I have future projects. Within future projects, I have architecture, landscapes, objects, and portraits. So here you can see here is my collection of different images that relate to each other. And even within those images, I have different folders within those categories. 